What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power we'll Play with CJ. I want to focus in on Decision Day, D-Day, uh, looming for uh, 10 young players on entry on entry level deals, and uh, what it means going forward. Who will be sticking around and who will be going back to uh, to their respective you know junior teams or you know a couple of them are NHL eligible. Let's go through uh, one by one, or case by case. Uh, Connor McDavid and Jack Eichel lump them in together. Uh, neither one is is going back. Um, that's just <laughs> fact. You bet your life they'll both. Uh, neither one's going to be playing anywhere but the NHL this season. Uh, what do we got? Dylan Larkin, first Red Wing to first teenager to make the Red Wing since 1990, a year before old CJ was born. Uh, Mike Sillinger was the player in question. He's not going anywhere. You can bet your bottom dollar he'll be sticking around. Uh, fellow U.S. World Junior teammate and uh, U.S. Dolphin team alum, Noah Hannafin. He will be sticking around. He's scratched uh, tonight. Not a big deal. Um, and he's AHL eligible, as is Larkin. Um, I think there's a chance we he might Hannafin might end up down at some point this year. Um, but he's going to burn the entry level deal. It's not... Not a not a big deal. Uh, so Nick Ehlers, Washington plays in the next Minnesota. He's staying around. That's one thing you can uh, bet your life on. The two kids in Vancouver, Jared McCann and Jake Vertanen. I think Vertanen goes back. I would send McCann back to the Sioux Greyhounds, but I think Vancouver. He's similar to Horvat. Where he can kind of play in all situations and you know do a few different things, so I guess the Vancouver could very well uh, keep him around. But I think I'd send Rotana back to the Hitman, um, and I mean he's you know he'd be a big time player for the Canadian WJC team. So what have we got McDavid, Eichel, Larkin, Hannafin, McCann, Rotana. We're up to seven. Uh, Penguins announced Daniel Sprung will be. Uh, staying beyond the 10 games. I still think somehow, some way, he ends up back in uh, Charlottetown this season. It's just one of those things, um, you know, that I think it's better for his development, to be honest with you. And Pittsburgh's not looking like the world beater as we thought they'd be. So we'll see what happens with that. But I'd send Sprung back to Charlottetown Islanders. That's just me. Uh, Robbie Fabry is um, back in the lineup tonight after sustaining a concussion. He's only played two games, so he's got a little bit more wiggle room. You asked me this a week ago, or ten days ago, I'd say he goes back to the Gulf Storm. But you lose Stastny, you lose Jaden Schwartz. It's like, you need creativity in the lineup. You get, if you're going to get it from a 19-year-old kid, so be it. Keep him up. So I think Fabry's. I think the two injuries help Fabry's case. And then the, the tenth is Sam Ryder, which is he's staying up. You know, he's technically because he's a later birthday and all at the NHL. I'll just lump him in with him. I'm going off NHL.com's list because that's just smart. Um, so you know that's what you got. And I could be very well wrong on every case, except the uh, I, I would bet my life Connor McDavid will not be playing for the Erie Otters this year. And I think Jack Eichel is a Buffalo State. But what do I know? Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.